two families are pleading for answers just a couple of months after a deadly double shooting at a dog fight in Covington County. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is now involved in the case, helping the Covington County Sheriff's Office. DeAndre Ducksworth should be getting ready to turn 26 years old next week, surrounded by loved ones and his mother, Jennifer McDonald. He was a loving and caring individual. He was my firstborn. He was my son. And now he's gone. Ducksworth was known to everyone as Peanut. He was shot and killed along with his longtime friend, Rashawn Gowdy, at a Covington County dogfight back in November. It's just not seeing him anymore. Knowing that you're not going to see him anymore. This took a toll on my whole family. It's it's emotional right now. Stacy Gowdy and McDonald fight back tears as they talk about their sons. Both deaths are still under investigation by the sheriff's office. We've already interviewed over 40 people so far. We've uh, got the assistance from the Federal Bureau of Investigations. They are actually looking into the dog fighting ring. Uh, network within our county and state. Sheriff Daryl Perkins says as many as 80 people may have been there that night, but as you can imagine, getting those to come forward has been easier said than done. If y'all was so much of their friends, why not come up and say something? Speak up. Y'all always there. Speak up. Perkins says people at the dogfight came from all over. Some were from Covington and neighboring counties and others as far away as Alabama and Florida. They tried getting rid of any evidence in a burn pit, but deputies are chasing down leads. We've got some phones that were recovered at the scene and uh, before they were, uh, uh, I guess, uh, the evidence was tampered with and the pit was set afire and everything. We got all information, but we do have some, some phones that we have subpoenaed for search warrants to obtain all the images and all the videos. Investigators only learned dogfighting was an issue a couple of months before the November deaths. The sheriff wants neighbors to be on the lookout for the illegal gatherings often held on properties that are hard to reach. Multiple dogs left uncared for can be a red flag. Some of these guys may not come every day to take care of their animals. They may come once or twice a week. You know, those are the things to look out for. So if you see something like that, or if you see a, a large group of activity turning down a gravel road. Despite offers for reward money through Crime Stoppers and the ability to remain anonymous, investigators say no one has identified the shooter or shooters so far. These families say it's past time for someone to come forward. It would mean that now my son can rest. That's what it would mean, because until then, he can't rest and we can't grieve. Now, if you have any information, names, nicknames, or vehicles at the scene that night, you're asked to call the Covington County Sheriff's Office at 601-765-8281 or Crime Stoppers. That number is 601-582-7867.